Hi everyone, it's Rio Cloud Sync. In today's session, we'll look at the general availability of the new enhanced device list management pane within Microsoft Enter ID. There have been several changes since the all device list pane transitioned from public preview to global availability. Therefore, we're going to run through some of the changes in today's session. So if you as a global administrator or a global reader or one of the specific role-based access control roles were to access Microsoft Entra Admin Console through entra.microsoft.com and were to select Identity, which is our Identity and Access Management Service, and scroll down to Devices, and then select All Devices. This will present us a list of all our Entra joined or registered devices within our organization today. Let's see what's new in terms of this device pane list. One of the changes or one of the improvements to the device list pane is the consistency and accessibility across the device list pane. This device list pane now presents all your joined, registered, autopiloted devices, um, as, as well as a higher level view in terms of the management of those devices, i.e. are they being managed through Microsoft Injune or are they just purely joined to your organization? We also have the option to select all devices which we didn't have previously. We had to select the individual devices. So we can select all or we can unselect all. This is good if you want to uh, manage your devices uh, from a bulk management perspective. We also have the infinite scrolling. Um, as I only have four devices in this, this organization, um, you, you'll still pr pretty much understand what I'm trying to, to portray in terms of infinite scrolling. Um, you're able to scroll down without having to select the next page. Okay, i.e. page one, page two, page three, you could just keep scrolling down on your list. We're also able to filter in a bit more of a granular uh, way. Um, so we can select add filters, or we can select filter. We now have a few more options. We can filter through the likes of um, Windows Autopilot. Um, say, for example, you want to present a list of all your Windows Autopilot devices rather than just, just generally all up joined. Um, so we can click autopilot and we can select value yes, apply, and it will remove all our standardized joint devices and just present our Windows autopiloted devices. And you can all you can always distinguish which devices are Windows autopiloted as well via the uh, icon here. And if you hover over, it will say autopilot device. If we remove this filter, we also have another filter for OS version now, in which we can filter via the the type of OS version as well as the, the, the particular version number. Okay, um, This could be um, Windows, this could be the likes of uh, the, the Mac OS okay, um, uh, operating systems and then obviously the particular version um, of that, that, that operating system per se. So if we cancel off here, um, there's also a few new columns Microsoft have um, introduced. Um, so if we were to scroll to the right on the uh, device pane list, we can see now there's, there's now a column for security settings management, i.e. where we've got devices, where are we managing the security settings for those devices? Okay, Is it the likes of Microsoft Intune as our MDM uh, provider, a mobile device management provider? Um, is it we're only managing the, the mobile application management side of the device? Um, and which service within the Microsoft 365 stack um, are we managing managing these uh, security settings? Is it like so MDE, um, so Microsoft Defender for Endpoint, or is it Entra um, itself? We also have um, relatively new links to Microsoft Intune across the device list pane as well. Um, so we see much more references with, with Microsoft Intune and that coexistence between our MDM provider um, and um, Entra as our identity and access management service. As you know, as and when you join a device um, to uh, your organization um, through the likes of um, access work or school or through the out of box method, um, either using Windows Autopilot as an enrollment method or just generally just join it through the credentials, um, you always have an, uh, an entry or an instance of your device within Entra ID itself. And if you are using Intune to, to manage the device, there will be a subsequent uh, entry within in Microsoft Intune for you then to deploy the, the relevant configuration profiles and compliance policies to, to Z policy. So this is just improved and enhanced in that coexistence between the MDM uh, solution, which is Microsoft Intune, and your IAM service, which is Entra ID. 
other than that, this is just a quick video uh, just to show you uh, some of the enhancements uh, Microsoft have made in terms of the device list payment with Microsoft Entry ID. Um, if you have any questions um, off the back of this video, please let me know through the comments or LinkedIn. Uh, I'll be more than happy to, to help or assist. Thank you very much.